Welcome to the Wood Library Museum of Anesthesiology. I'm Bill McNeese, physician, pediatric anesthesiologist, and president of the Wood Library Museum of Anesthesiology, the WLM. The mission of the WLM is to advance anesthesiology by preserving and sharing its heritage and knowledge. My first visit to the WLM, now 20 plus years ago, was an opportunity to come and see this treasure of anesthesia and anesthesiology heritage. I visited with Patrick Sim, the longtime librarian and director of the Wood Library. And he described this library museum and archives as something that was both very narrow and very deep. That is, it's very narrow in that it only focuses on anesthesia and anesthesiology, not on anything else. But within that realm of anesthesia and anesthesiology, it has very deep collections going back centuries of the heritage of this specialty. Behind me is the timeline wall located within the atrium of the American Society of Anesthesiologists headquarters building. It traces over a span of 55 feet the heritage from 4000 BCE all the way down through the current day through the display of a variety of artifacts from the collections along with renderings and images related to the advancement of anesthesia and anesthesiology. Across the atrium from the timeline and located on the outside wall of the rare book room are some selected examples of rare books from the collections. The WM holds some 2,600 rare books and manuscripts dating back to the 15th century. These are held in a carefully controlled environment optimal for books and manuscripts. As we walk beyond the outside of the rare book room and the rare book exhibit, we walk into an area with both freestanding and wall-mounted exhibit cases, including objects from the WLM collections. I'll focus our attention initially on this case here related to Paul Meyer Wood, after whom the Wood Library Museum of Anesthesiology is named. Dr. Wood was a native of Indiana and practiced professionally in New York City. He was extensively involved in professional anesthesiology organizations. One recognition of this was the awarding of the first American Society of Anesthesiologists Distinguished Service Award to Dr. Wood in 1945. Albert Betcher, ASA president in 1963, traces the origins of the WLM to the mind of Paul Wood. As early as the 1920s, Wood was collecting books, pamphlets, periodicals, and records having to do with anesthesia and organized anesthesiology. In the 1930s, Wood donated his collections to a predecessor organization of the ASA. That collection eventually led to what is the WLM today. These exhibits include selected artifacts from the WLM collections with interpretive content. Topics covered include inhalers from the 1840s, nitrous oxide, innovations in anesthesia apparatus, including an early controlled gas flow machine from 1911, a semi-automatic anesthesia recording anesthesia machine from about 1930, and a copper kettle from 1952 along with monitors, selected anesthesiologists, biographical information who have made important contributions to the specialty, pediatric anesthesia, monitoring, airways, and regional anesthesia. As we leave the exhibit space of the WLM, we walk up a few steps to the WLM library. In the stacks of this library are some 13,000 volumes of books and of bound journals related to anesthesia and anesthesiology. Importantly, 
it's not just one book that we might find, but it's often each edition of the book that we have in the collections. And if we look at volumes of bound journals, often with advertisements in place. And this is important to help the researcher to better time, date, and understand the evolution of anesthesia and anesthesiology. We've talked about the timeline. We've talked about the rare books. We've talked about the museum. We've talked about the library. We've not yet talked about the archives. And the WLM holds archives of a number of anesthesiology institutions and individuals important to the development of the specialty. These are held in an off-site space, along with most of the 6,500 plus artifacts in the collections, in a location that provides the opportunity to both maintain our collections in good condition and to allow researchers and students of anesthesia and anesthesiology to take advantage of our collections held within that space. Thanks for your time today and your visit to the online version of the Wood Library Museum of Anesthesiology, where we work to advance anesthesiology by preserving and sharing its heritage and knowledge. As you have time, we invite you to tour the digitized renderings of selected books, ephemera and artifacts in the collections, the interpretive content, selected interviews of anesthesiologists and others important to the anesthesiology profession, and a growing social media presence as well. And we invite you to come to the Wood Library Museum to visit us in person with an advance appointment.